Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, it is April 2nd. Welcome to the Provider AWS meeting. Um, looks like there is uh, an agenda item today. Um, actually, Kishore, you put that in March 19th. I'm just going to copy it up. Oh, sorry. You. My bad. No worries. Um, so that first. Okay, so Kishore, do you want to tell us about this um, item? Yeah, so what I observed was uh, in the uh, service controller, uh, like there are two independent uh, threads. Uh, one is the node sync loop and another is the work queue, like whenever the service gets uh, updated, deleted. Uh, and what it turns out is uh, like the way that the load balancer functions are invoked, like in a certain sequence when a service is getting deleted, and at the same time, there's a node sync event. Uh, we see that uh, both of them uh, end up calling like uh, some of the common functions in their update uh, instance security group, for example. And uh, that is causing a race condition, like some resource leakage and all other undesired effects. Uh, we looked at the code. Uh, we could put a lock in those functions, but a lock isn't going to be very helpful uh, because uh, they would get invoked anyways, like even if serialized, like uh, the update code could potentially get invoked. Uh, okay, let me take that back. Uh, I mean, lock locking is not like a very feasible uh, right now because like we have delays and all sort of things there. So what we're looking at is like uh, whether from the service controller, uh, we could uh, serialize uh, all of these operations like putting them in a single queue rather than uh, handling them uh, independently. So that's what I wanted to discuss further. Uh, you are on mute, looks like. Whoops, <laughs> um, got it. So you're talking about, um, so the, the work queue for like node events and, um, service events, basically? Uh, correct. So what we do is even for the node events, we uh, look up the service uh, that are impacted and then uh, reconcile them. So if we could combine them into a single queue, then uh, we can uh, get benefit of that uh, work queue uh, synchronization that it offers and potentially yeah, that... uh, minimize the uh, race condition here. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... Is it worth taking a look at the code right now and just uh, and and so you're talking about you saw this in a cluster that was um, running I guess the uh, legacy cloud provider in Cube Controller Manager, but the issue would probably show up in either one. Uh, so I saw it on uh, 115, uh, but I looked at the recent code and those conditions uh, haven't changed. So it would still be possible that it gets triggered. Yeah. I mean, it could be specific to AWS, but uh, like the way that things are, uh, I mean, uh, we should uh, do something uh, in the service controller, which would be beneficial for everybody. Yeah. But this definitely happens like on a big cluster, like say hundreds of nodes and like some 200 services. And uh, like whether when there is a constant uh, node uh, change event happening, scaling up and down happening, so. Got it. Um, I'm gonna share my screen really quick. Sure. Uh, can you see? Yes. The, okay, cool. So just so that I make sure I understand. Um, see. So there's a node okay, so sync uh, loop somewhere uh, if you search for it. Yeah, so I, I see the service informer, I see the node informer, I see 
trigger node sync. Um, I was just going to see. So, uh, okay, and controller um, node sync loop. Is this what you're talking about? Uh, yeah, go to node sync internal. Uh, that's the one that gets involved. Okay, let's go there. Okay, yeah, so uh, this, uh, if you uh, look at towards the end, you will call the update load balancer host function. Got it. It looks up for all the services in the cache and then it calls this. So this will end up calling update load balancer if you uh, follow through further. Uh, so it will call uh, somewhere uh, update log. You will call the locked update. Host. Yes, locked update load balancer host. And then this will call the update load balancer. So that goes into the AWS code for us. Mm. Now, update load balancer will do its thing, right? It will go look up the service, the nodes, and then it will update the uh, security group and all of those uh, stuff in there. Right. And it's not protected by anything right now, this update or any any of the AWS functions. Uh, now we can follow the create as well. Uh, which create? Not the create, sorry, the delete, like load balancer delete. So load balancer delete would happen from the work queue, right? So we would uh, follow the work queue. Got it. So let's find that. Here's process network item. Yeah, that's the one. And then it will call sync service. And if we go to the sync service, uh, the process service deletion. And then uh, process load balancer delete. And process uh, load balancer delete will call insert load balancer deleted. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is like uh, depends on how they are involved. But what I'm seeing is uh, like process load balancer deleted. Uh, the ensure load balancer deleted function goes ahead and uh, modifies the security group rules. It deletes some entries from the SG rules, and then uh, the update one uh, gets invoked a little bit later and then it goes and adds back the rule again because because they just uh, run concurrently uh, so that is the reason why they they're not synced got it okay and um so your proposal is to make sure that all this work happens from one queue i guess correct correct yeah. Have you created an issue upstream yet? Uh, not yet. I, I wanted to discuss it uh, further uh, before uh, creating it. So just want yeah. to make sure like we're all in the same page. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense to me, you know, without like actually having seen the issue that <laughs> if you're 
modifying, if you're making an API call to AWS from uh, two, you know, potentially two simultaneous um, different threads of work, and that is modifying the same entity in AWS, you have no guarantees over what order those things happen in. Um, so, yeah, I, it, the problem makes sense to me. Um, I, my, my recommendation is definitely to, to move forward with making the issue um, and proposing the solution in the issue. Mm -hmm. um, definitely do that uh, before, you know, uh, starting work because maybe we're not, not understanding something, but um, yeah, it seems, seems pretty straightforward to me. Okay. So the node sync is usually 100 seconds or so, and it may not even be seen like if the number of nodes are less or uh, like updates are not frequent. It just has to have the right set of uh, trigger condition. So I, I we didn't reproduce it, but uh, we look at the logs and then we analyze the code and then uh, Yang and I concluded that that's what should happen. So, okay, I will uh, go ahead and create the issue upstream. Yeah, and we can yeah. in sync network meeting about the change. What was that? I mean, we can we should discuss this in Sig Network. Yeah, that's a that's a very good idea. Once you create the issue, um, since they are responsible for the service um, resource, you should definitely bring it up there. Okay. Uh, and we even thought about like adding lock to the AWS code, but that uh, like a it's like difficult uh, because uh, if we look at the initial load balancer deleted function. Uh, that can take up to 10 minutes to complete. Like we have that time timeout, right? So it it would effectively like slow down everything. And uh, it may or may not work. There might be corner cases we haven't thought through, but there might still be some corner cases that may not be handled uh, there. It's just like a little more complicated solution in that case. And every cloud provider has to do that, right? So rather than that, uh, we suggest this way. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there could be other reasons for having two distinct um, queues for, for, you know, and, and not combining uh, node and, and maybe it has to do with like the fact that the, the node sync only happens every hundred seconds. Um, so how would you control if you combine them all? Um, I guess you would control the node sync by only adding those. You'd still only be adding those events to the shared queue at, at that frequency. Correct. Correct. Yeah. OK. Yeah, I mean, without being, I mean, what you've said made, makes sense to me, but without being more familiar with the the um, code in the actual service controller. Um, yeah, I don't know how much how much else I can really. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and create the issue. I'm on the okay. same page with you. Just CC me on the issue because I'm, I'm definitely interested in um, the result and, and I wouldn't mind uh, hearing the conversation at um, the um, SIG network meeting as well. Sure. Um, cool. Sounds good. And how does it work for cloud provider V2? Is it still going to be this loop or it's going to be slightly different, uh, like for the out of three cloud provider that we're going to have eventually? How things are going to be different? Um, I think it was, it was going to be uh, this loop unless we needed to change it. So um, if you know, if for some reason, uh, they don't want to um, make this change, then, you know, we have the ability to replace all of these um, in V2, we don't need to use them. They're just, they just make things a lot easier. So I was seeing this um, with like the, the, um, load balancer, uh, like using custom load balancer names, 
the way <clears throat> that that is implemented in um, V1. Oh, sorry, actually, I was, uh, with the with node names, like the, the way that um, node names works with uh, the way it is now, it's, it's just really difficult to um, use custom node names uh, with uh, just like the way that um, the, the, the cloud provider loops uh, work. So I was considering in V2 the same thing, replacing some of these loops, but um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Um, it really just depends on if we need to or not. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm, I think I'm going to push uh, the issue triage to next meeting when when Justin's back. Um, so I don't have anything else. If you guys don't, you can. Sure. Uh, let's hang up and then I will go ahead, create the issue, and we'll uh, take discussions further in that uh, issue thread. Awesome. Sounds good. Cool. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks. We have 14 minutes back, right? Yep. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> See, See you guys. <laughs>